calling the internet police. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Red, and uh, the picture that you're looking at right now is Sledgehammer Games aiming to have Advanced Warfare's Time to Kill closer to Black Ops 2 than Ghosts. So what I did was, is I compared Ghosts and Black Ops 2. I used the AN94 and the Remington. So uh, let's get right into it. As you can see, the AN94, it says that it kills um, three bullets mid mid to long range and five bullets at long distance. Now you'll go ahead and see right here, this is actually medium range, and you'll see how many bullets it takes to kill him. Now you can see right there guys, three bullets. Three bullets at medium range took him out. And uh, so that's pretty accurate. As you'll see in the final kill cam, it actually shows three bullets. So you can count the shots. One, two, three. Boom. Right there and it kills him. Now this is long range here. It says it should take five shots. It actually takes around six to kill this guy. So that's pretty accurate. I mean, you don't want to have five or four. Let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. There's the sixth one right there. And that, that's the one that killed him. So that actually took six shots. Now as you'll see here with the Remington and Ghosts, um, it says that it should take three shots close range and five body shots at long range four if headshots are used so as you'll go ahead and see this here three shots right there at medium range and you guys can see how quick uh, the opposing player died right here boom three shots that's all it took so as you can see now this right here is long range where it should take five shots but it actually took three again. So as you can see, you, you guys die a lot quicker in Ghost than you do in Black Ops 2, which I'm sure many people know that, but I was just wanting to show you firsthand of you know how quick you die. Now the gameplay that you're going to be watching here is some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, we're playing some team deathmatch on Nuketown, and I'm using the MP7, and I end up going off as usual, and we win, so... Yeah, I figured this would be a good gameplay to use. Uh, most of my kills were, you know, pretty good kills, but most of my deaths were so shitty. Like, I don't know how I died, but, you know, that's how it is with every game. But, yeah, it was a pretty good gameplay. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how uh, how Advanced Warfare is bringing their, uh, how long it takes to kill somebody. Uh, since they're going with more of the Black Ops 2 way. Then rather than the ghost uh, where you die quicker. I want to go if you guys are happy about that. Would you rather have it uh, like Black Ops 2 or would you rather have it like Ghosts? Now the thing is, in Ghosts, you do die a lot quicker. But you also kill a lot quicker. So it kind of evens out. Like in Black Ops 2, you're going to die a lot slower. But you also kill slower. So basically... Uh, in Ghost, it's easier to kill because you can miss bullets, and if you only all you have to do is hit like two or three, and that kills the opponent. But in Black Ops 2, if you miss bullets, you still have to make sure you hit four to five bullets in order to kill the person. So it actually, I mean, it kind of evens out. But most people would rather, you know, miss bullets and take four to five to kill the other person because they don't want to die in say two to three bullets like you do in Ghost. So I want to know what you guys think about that. Um, I think it's a pretty good move. In uh, Black Ops 2, I like the way you died. But uh, the connection is what ruined it. Because, you know, most people, would they would shoot before you shoot, even though you've seen them at the same time. It was like they couldn't figure out how to incorporate that it takes longer to kill, but they needed to make the connections even out the same, no matter what connection you had. Which I know that's kind of hard to do. But, I don't know, like in, in say, Modern Warfare 3, for example, or Call of Duty Black Ops, the original one, it really didn't matter what your connection was. Uh, you still, as long as you hit your shots on the person, even if you see them at the same time, you are going to get the kill no matter what. But, uh, yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, I'll have many more Advanced Warfare videos uh, coming up related to this one. And, uh, yeah, I'll be bringing the latest stuff to you guys. I, I get most of my information from Charlie Intel because they usually get it first before everybody else. And, 
yeah, guys, so, uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, um, like the, where I put the two guns together, you know, and compared them for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that, just to see firsthand, uh, the difference in Ghost and Black Ops 2. I was going to use the M8, but I decided, um, since it's a three-round burst gun, it would be kind of hard to compare an automatic gun to a three-round burst, so I just went ahead and went with the AN-94. Uh, most people say that the M8 was the best gun in the game, but I couldn't really compare it. Look at that nasty two-piece. I couldn't really compare it because, you know, it was a burst gun, and the AN-94 was a close second to the best gun in the game. I enjoyed using it, so uh, that's what I compared to. But I'm just going to go ahead and let this gameplay finish out. I finished like 25 and 10 or something. It could have been better, but those few shitty deaths cost me. But, yeah, like that right there. Oh, my God. How did he kill me with that shotgun? It doesn't matter, guys. Just go ahead and watch the rest of the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Red. I'll see you guys next time. Objective parameters.